What do we have? Oh, Schiff. Yeah. Um, House Intelligence Committee Chairman, Representative Adam Schiff, Democrat, People's Republic of, of California. I almost said People's Republic of Congress, which is also technically correct. Um, acted in concert with Politico to leak allegedly false information from the impeachment inquiry as part of a scheme to advance the inquisition against President Donald Trump, according to a defamation lawsuit that was filed by a senior Trump White House official today. Oh, boy. Cash Patel, who is a senior counterterrorism official in the National Security Council, filed a lawsuit in Virginia court in which he says Schiff weaponized the media to advance his impeachment agenda. Patel is a former staffer to the top Republican on the House Intelligence Committee, Representative Devin Nunez, Republican of the People's Republic of California, who later moved to the White House into the NSC to advise the president on national security and intelligence matters. Patel today filed the defamation suit in Virginia State Court against Politico's Natasha Bertrand, a reporter for the establishment media outlet Politico. Again, Robert uh, Alberton, the publisher and executive chairman of the organization, all identified as defendants in the case. Patel accuses the defendants of defaming him by working with Schiff and members of his staff to disseminate false stories about him. Here's what it alleges. Defendants intentionally employed a scheme or artifice to defame Cash with the intent to undermine the president's confidence in Cash and to further Schiff's impeachment inquisition. Defendants acted in concert with Schiff to accomplish an unlawful purpose through unlawful means without regard for Cash's rights and interests. This is the first time that I am aware of that somebody is actually accused in a court of law, Schiff of breaking the law. We know Schiff has broken the law. It's just that nothing ethically is happening in Congress, and there hasn't been any legal repercussions. It's the first time we've seen something like this. Defendants abandoned all journalistic integrity and violated their own code of ethics in order to further the conspiracy with Schiff. Defendants did not seek truth, report truth, minimize harm, act independently, and they most certainly were not transparent. Now, in particular... Patel accuses Bertrand of writing two false stories for Politico, claiming the NSC official was feeding Trump negative information about Ukraine and misrepresenting himself as an expert on the Eastern European country to the U.S. president. Who else might be accused of misrepresenting their expertise for a nation? Would that be uh, the whistleblower? Mm Mm-hmm. The chupacabra? Oh, wait, no, that's not his name. Politico, however, refuses to retract or clarify the alleged false stories. Breitbart News reported the false information publicized about Patel by Politico and the New York Times. Wow. So there is that. Now, uh, we also have Eric Charamella. That is the Chupacabra Charlie whistleblower, whom Real Clear Politics identified as a whistleblower. I should say that. They identified him as a whistleblower. All of the evidence points to him being the whistleblower, but I digress. Um, the Open Society apparently kept Eric Charamella updated on George Soros's personal Ukraine activities. Why would the Open Society, a Soros group, why would they be sending information to the whistleblower, excuse me, alleged whistleblower, a.k.a. Charlie, Eric Charamella, why would they be sending him information so he can be up to date on what George Soros is doing in the Ukraine. Highly suspicious, don't you think? Oh, but wait, there's there's more. It's like an infomercial. I've got tons more for you coming up on News Talk 95.3, Michigan's news channel.